What we are going to do is make some pages in our spooky album and um, I'm going to show you two different ways. I like uh, to use in this album because we have a small, a small spine. Um, so I am going to make, um, how do you call this binding? Just, I call it a waterfall binding. And uh, if you don't like this, I am going to show you the hidden hinge binding. But this is a, um, a combination of the, how you call this binding? It's a combination of... Oh my gosh, um, oh my gosh, I need to work, I need to work. It's um, Hidden Hinge and it's um, Stack the Deck, yeah, Stack the Deck uh, binding. It's a combination, but I'll show you in a minute. First I am going to do the, the pages um, that I am going to use. So what we are going to need is my cutting plate and I'm grabbing a piece of paper and I'm cutting it. Oh, these are the measurements. First in centimeters, that's, um, wait just a minute, after scoring, wait, 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 wait. First we cut it at 18.5 centimeters, yeah. Or 7 by 2 of an 8 inch. So I, since this scoreboard is in inches, I will cut it at 7 2 of an 8. Yeah, or 7 1 fourth of an inch. But I like to call it 7 2 of an 8 inch. So I score or I cut it. And then what I like to do is first score my inch and I score at a half inch. Now if you are having a centimeter scoreboard then go ahead and make it one centimeter. So then you fold it and the reason why I do it first is to make sure because I give you centimeters and inches so I want to be sure that everybody is having the right size. Now we have scored. I cut it at 5 inch. But if you have centimeters, then you have to cut it by 12.8 centimeters. So, now I can show you my measurements. Because now we have cut it in the right length. Yes. Then you score at a half inch or at 1 centimeter. Whatever size you like, but I think one centimeter is enough. And then you need to score, uh, cut it by five inch or at 12.8 centimeters. That's why I am leaving you these numbers. So it's 18.5 centimeters by 12.8 centimeters. Na het scoren, na het, na de vouwlijn. And in inches it's 7, 2 of an 8 by 5 inch after scoring. Please remind that. So, I am cutting it at 5 inch. Yes. Now I have one left so I can make another one. Cut at five. Now I have two pages and now I make one more. I already made that, so I have three pages. Yes? Now, keep this in mind. Yes, 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 yes. Now for the next binding, before I go further, because I have my scoring board already laying here. Um, so for the next we are going to make this um, binding. If you don't like the stack the pages uh, system then you can do this one and I will do it together with you. 
So grab a piece of paper and again cut it at 7 to an 8, the same length. Yes. Then you go on to score uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 times. Now I like to score it at a half inch and I believe one centimeter is pretty much yeah you have it smaller but it's 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 better believe me if your scoring board is in centimeters then one centimeter is enough it, it's better then you have it smaller than wider so but a half inch will do so we score five times at a half inch one two three four five and then we cut it um, also one inch a hat of a half inch yes this is now we are going to fold this one the same as this one now the outside we just fold it once And also on this side, we fold it once. Yeah, now we have a stack the deck binding system. But I do need one more. So what I did is I make a double hinge in the middle. So let's see, this is coming up, yes, it does, you see, this is a double hinge, the double hinge system, of the hidden hinge, no, not the double, the hidden hinge system, and this is the stack the deck. So you can, let me show you, I will do a quick, glue it all together, just real quick. So you can see what I mean. You see, this is the hidden hinge and these two are, now you can make <coughs> um, all hidden hinge but I don't need the flaps because we already put all the paper in. But you can do whatever you like, but if I was using this one, I prefer use this system. So, but you can make a hidden hinge of course and do it over here, but you decide. You decide what you want. I just want to show you that this is an option. So you can make tunnels for the size of these pages. Then you have to make um, yeah, 7 to an 8 by 5 inches and then double and make tunnels. Yeah, you know what I mean. I bet you do. If you watch more videos of mine, then I bet you do. You know what I mean. So, I move my dead hinge away because I am going to use my waterfall hinge system. I call it that way. I don't know how you, how you call it, but I call it this. Now, what we are going to do is we are gluing the first one down. And this was a tryout, so I glue these two together. I do that in a minute with you together. <coughs> but you can see, I am going to look how far this can go. And then this one, yes. So we just need a little space. I believe, yeah, one or two millimeter is enough. So it folds nicely closed. Yeah. So let's grab some tape and put it on. Yes. 
try to use a little extra glue and this is really sturdy glue the I call this the art glitter from Country Craft Creations is this one and I really like it so let's glue it on I start at the bottom line it up so it's straight and then go to the top See if you are straight. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yes, that's the first one. Make sure your glue is really nice attached. Yeah, that's one. Now normally we do make a little space between the first page and the, the but we don't have much room so I don't do that. Now I can place the other one on this side. So grab our tape. Peel it off. Put some extra glue on so you can wiggle a little and it stays more better than just the tape. And this you can glue it on the same way as we did the first. Watch if you are straight. And when you do, you give it a push. Yeah. Now, let's see. Now we have the first one and the last one. Yeah. And now we have another one. And that will go on here. So the fold line is going to be in the middle of the opening that we create here. Yeah? So you have even openings for the pages. Some extra glue. Now it's just watching where your opening is and just glue it in. You see? It's that simple. Yeah. Now we have our three pages. Like, like, like. And still have enough room to make any nice thick pages. Yep. Like it. I like it. But still, if you are want to use the combination of the hidden hinge and the stack the deck binding system, then please do. There are plenty, plenty of um, binding systems you can use. Use whatever you prefer. Yeah, let's begin with our first page. I normally do the. I do the first. I do the outside, but. I wait. I wait because I still not decide what to do with the outside. So let's just start it with the first page. And now because this is really thin, we, because we don't have much room, 
for this one. So I just make a decision that I make my first page pure and simple. So I grab a piece of design paper and I don't measure, I just mark where I like to cut it. And then I cut my paper. with black and I use this stress ink from Tim Holtz I just like the ink like this and then it should be fitting yes it does just on this page so now we can decide if we just like it plain or I cut out all my things but well, we're just playing around and see what we are going to do with it now I like using the first page. Now this is perfect for a little belly band. And the belly band method is to keep things very flat. Now you can make this as a photo frame. But you can make a little belly band. So you can stick your photo behind. Or glue two photos underneath but I think it's nice to use a belly band now let's see if I have a piece of leftover to use it so I think I am going to use the black one or no the black one the black one is nice it really pops it out so let's smooch the edges so I don't like to see the white and then I am I think I just cut it like this size so the round edges is going to be First I cut this on the wide angle, nice and straight. And then I just glue it down. Yes I am. Not, not, not the round one. We don't need the round one. Give that just wipe it away for just a minute. And go on it is. Yeah, I like it. So now you can see where this is going to be. And then you just flip it around. Let's see, 
Okay, that's the middle. Let's measure the middle for this one. I really like it to be in the middle. So now I can see what the middle is. Yes. Yes, 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 I can see the middle. Yes, and now I can make the another. Or you just can fold it with your hand, but I like it nice and steady. Cut it shorter and grab some tape. And then the first page with our belly band is already made. It's that simple. Yes, it is. It is that simple. And I think I really like it. So we have a belly band and we can make any card for it or a larger one with a picture frame. That's also nice, but we can do that later. And if you decide to make a stopper, then you can. Let's see. For example, you can use a little thing like this and then it stops it stops so for falling down but we can that we can do it later on so yes I am going to apply this page on the first page because we don't need any bulky page on the first and on the last one Off. and glue it on on our page. Simple as it is. Our first page is done and I really like the combination of the belly bands with the background. Yep. Going to the next one, the second one. And here we are going to make a larger, uh, a thicker one of course, because we have the room for making a larger and thicker page. So yeah, mm -hmm. next page we grab a piece of cardstock, of course, and we measure the right size and I believe it was I think I have it somewhere, 7, 2 of an 8 inch or 18.5. I believe, oh, I need it, make it larger, of course, make it larger, 7, 1 fourth, or 7, 2 of an 8, of course, or 18.5. same time we can make a fold line for our hinge and of course you can measure it by hand and you just lay it and make the same size alrighty now we are going to measure I suppose I am glue in it on the outside of the page so I like it a little smaller than than this page so line it up at the end of this page 
and just stay a little shorter let's say three millimeters so and then cut it and how wide am i with the measurements for some people they measure i have it on my board for hmm, four seven or eight but it can also be Four three or four three four of an inch, but four seven of an eight will do just fine. Yes. So if the people are measuring, this one is four seven of an eight inch. Don't throw this away. We're going to need that for another page. So yeah, this is going to be like this and we have plenty of room on this side. So let's play with this page, not glue it in just yet. Because I am going to use um, a die that I got in yesterday from Crealis. And this one is from the new collection and I call it spiderweb but <laughs> it's um, I just call it and you see in a minute why I just call it so this is the new one I put it on the black so you can see this is a new die a new edge die from Crealis and like I said I just got it in so I got my first try with this die and I'm going to use it in the album the Halloween album and if you like to order then uh, remind this code C L O T E 29 if you like to purchase the same one uh, then you have to use this code to find it easily and yes I am going to use it yeah yeah you can bark are you finished barking? My dog is barking. But yes, I like to use this one. And I like to use it on top. Yes, on top. Not on the side. I like it to use it on top. So I flip it over. And I am going to see what's the middle. And just to be sure, I make a little mark there so this is going to be in the middle then I shove it up and place my and this is not washi tape I just bought um, in a store um, this tape and, and <laughs> it, it lays by the the health I call it. If you are having a wound, then you can buy this one. And I just might my try out, so I hope I don't damage the paper. But I guess it will do. Let's see if I have it straight. Oh, it's pretty, pretty, pretty straight. Yes. So, run it through the machine. And these are very nice because all sizes of the edge dies from Crealis, they are the same size so you can use it in this big shot and in any uh, cutting machine that is not an A4 size. And I really like it. But of course you can use it this if you are making this side. So yeah. Like it, like it, like it. Put this away. And then it come off. So let's see how my new tape is. Ah, it's pretty easy to come off. Yeah, I think I like it. I saw this one in the YouTube 
video from Creelis that she is using this this tape that normally is for bandage or whatever. But I really like it. So yeah. So this is the top of our new page. And now comes my idea from the spider web. Do you feel it coming? Yeah, you feel it. So let me show you what I am was trying out. When I was trying it out, I was just drawing a spider web using these forms. And yeah, I was using um, a white pencil then for writing on black paper. But it don't come off. Then I use an eye pencil, a white eye pencil. And it's really soft, so I have to make not too hard. And when you when I use this one, you can just a little smooch it out, and then it's it's really hmm, I like it very much. So a white pencil will do, of course. Um, it's it's really nice. You can, and if you are going multiple times over uh, a line, then you can have a nice web idea. Yeah, I am going to use my white eye pencil for this one. So it don't have to be neat. Spider webs are not neat. So we are drawing. And you don't have to go all the way down because, let's see, let's grab just any piece of paper. Because when we are done drawing, I am going to pick a design paper and lay it over it. So you just have to draw, if you are doing the same thing as I am, just the same height as this one. So yeah, let's draw a little. And I really like it. So it don't have to be neat at all. So I do just these and then in the middle. And these also in the middle. And then I just follow the line. And another one. Uh, I think just this enough. And now for this pencil, this is just a little. We I can do this. And I like it. So if you are see, now I create a nice space by the way. Now do it with the same thing as on this side and in the middle and just being a little creative for this die and it's perfect for this album I think yes and then we smooch it away and then it gives a nice spooky touch I think it's wonderful but that's my opinion I like it so yeah I'm going to use it let's cut this one just a little off and let's pick some design paper for it and cut it in the white side. I choose this one and I really like the pumpkins. I really like it. And so I first glue this one on. Let's do that. And before 
before I do the inside, I glue it in the album because then I see how many if I want to use a um, how you call it a magnet if I want to use a magnet so yes let's grab the album and stick it on this side and just begin at the bottom and then go all the way up oh, I see the die so you can make a little opening at the bottom so you have an even opening so I think yeah, it's black but I will show you in a minute Hmm, let's see what is yeah no I think I use it all the way down yes then it's nicer so yeah I'll explain to you just in a minute now I glue my page all the way down the same size as this page but why what I was I was saying like this you have a little room so you can make it in the middle so you have beneath a little opening and at the top but that that opening was really 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 very tiny so I think if you do then it looks a little messy so I decided to go all the way down so yeah I think I like this page and Let's just decide what we are going to do on this side before I go further on this one because we are want to make every page stay put. So and of course this one is going to be on this side. So yeah. I like it, but we are going to do first this page. I just think I know what I want to do. I think it will be nice to use these three uh, labels, but let's see. I think we are going to make a large pocket. Now, don't want to make this one because that's the same size for a page, so I use another one. So what we are going to do is measure, this will do, let's see, first I am going to make a fold line, and fold. Then I line it up, not too tight to this one because this is one you we want to make it that this can still flip. So stay just one or two millimeters away from this fold line. Then we make another uh, mark and also stay one or two millimeters. I prefer two millimeters. Stay away from this fold line. Yes make another fold line and cut it at a half inch don't throw it away yes and now we can decide how large it will be I want this to the bottom and the top hmm. this is the same size but I want it a little smaller so I cut just a little off how much I will cut it yeah, one inch I decided to cut it short at one inch um, Let's draw a line that's easier to cut it. 
one inch, yes, and then I just can cut it on here. So yes, now we have our first large pocket. Yeah, but I like more pockets. So what I will do is uh, you can layer uh, other pockets, but you can, let's see where is my cutting, my little cutting mat, you can just cut also nice, um, but we want to measure of course, let's see, I want to make two, so let's see, this is about six. So one, two, yeah that will do, so I line it up, make a little mark and do it the same and this side and then we can cut it. Now let's see where is my cutting ruler and my knife. Let's do it this way. And um, let's see, I don't want to cut it all the way. So we are leaving yeah, a little centimeter off, I guess. Yeah, that's enough. Enough space for putting a nice tag in and on the back we can do a large one. Yeah, that's enough. Let's make it funky. Funky, funky. Yes, that will do. I like it. Yes, alrighty. Now for the design papers, I first look for, let's see what design paper I am going to use. Um, uh, I come back to you. I picked okay. my design papers. But before we are going to glue it down, I think we are going to glue it first in the album because we are going to use a magnet. So cut my tape a little straighter than it is. So let's glue some tape on. And then we, oh wait, 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 I think, yeah, I just want to make a little, uh, I don't, that does not need, nope, now we just glue it in. Sometimes in my head I play the next move and sometimes I need to think it through so I don't make mistakes. Let's see, just glue it in and the place you are measuring it. This can be a little further away, so we are in the middle, hello, yeah, there I want you to be, not too close to this edge, no, 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 we don't, oh, you see, and now I forgot, now it's this perfect 
perfect for this little nozzle. Yeah, because I forgot to glue this little edge on this side. But I can do it now because I have a little nozzle which I really adore to use. So now it fits. Now it fits, it fits. So I think it's easier to see if I put my design paper on. And yes. So. No, you see, I will go too fast. I just hear you. I hear you say, no, you forget the magnet. I do. I did hear you. <laughs> I did hear you. Yes, I was. Thank God you helped me out. So I think I want to do this in the middle. Thank God you helped me. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm doing it too fast. But glad you helped me. really in the Halloween Halloween thing. So excited. And the last one. And of course we are using some background paper for the larger pockets. Yeah, so now I can glue this page down on here. And yeah, I'm using two different kind of glue because I want to be a little safe on my art glue, art glitter glue from Country Craft Creations because it's not that very cheap one, but it's really a good one. So, and this is a very cheap one from my local store. I believe it's just. 69 cents but it really is a good glue for just gluing sign paper on yeah so this will stick in here and now we are going to find a nice of um, design paper on the back and I believe I have a little leftover from this one which I want to use and this one is going to be shovel in this one in the pocket I mean and we don't need all the way down just the half of it just about and it's really nice to cut 
the blocks are showing you you are cutting straight So there you have it. Yeah. Okay. For the insides, um, now I just made. I just had to make uh, make new pockets or new pockets. I make just a little card, but. As you can see, you can make a um, little card in it and a larger one on the back. But I come back to you in a minute. And I think I really like these ones to put on here. I think, but they don't have to. But I think it will be give a nice touch, don't you think? Yeah, I think it is. But so let's, let's see go. what I did for the inside. Um, on the back, our larger uh, tag is um, I use purple. I think uh, Halloween is of course lots of dark and wet and orange. But I always like to use some purple in it. And I choose this cardstock to use this simple card I make on the back. And in the middle I use two recipe cards from the kit. From Victoria Designs of course. And I really like it. And, and it's also nice to have um, the next why it's stuck. Oh. It's stuck somewhere. Somewhere it's getting stuck. Why it's getting stuck? I think this particular thing was a bad idea. I think because, because we are having one, they get stuck. Somehow, see, you see? Hmm. But okay. Oh, and in the last pocket I use the month October and I use the purple to come back. And in the inside I leave it plain to, for you can leave a nice photo on. So I think it will really do well. Yeah. Like it. Like it, like it, like it. And so this is the first page already. And on top of this, um, I can make a larger uh, or a nice uh, portrait um, embellishment, but I will do that later on. I'm first going to see how fat this page is going to be, and then I decide if I have room to make a nice thing for this one. So, yeah, up to the next one. 